Hey guys, in just a moment, I'm going to go over the secrets behind saving thousands of dollars on your Medicare prescription drug plans. And a lot of times people are just not aware of these options and what they can do. Stick around. We'll be back in just a moment. Hey guys, it's Kelby Hightower with Medicare Hub. Hope you're doing well. A lot of times people are very confused on prescription drug plans. Also, when they enroll into either a Medicare Advantage prescription drug plan, uh, plan that has a drug benefit in it or a standalone prescription drug plan. They're, they're unaware of really how to access, how to save sometimes hundreds if not thousands of dollars a year. And I'm going to be covering today uh, just the simplified steps of making you aware of what's available to be able to lower cost, some tools and resources you need to be aware of and how to access those through your doctor, through your agent or agency like us to educate and guide you towards that and just to be aware of what options you do have to be able to lower the cost of your medications when it comes to you guys that are on medications that are extremely high dollar medications. So one of the ways is, is having a licensed agent or agency really evaluate or have the value and experience that you can actually call in or sit down with someone that actually takes a list of your medications, puts it into a software platform like what we use, and then within a few seconds can do a, a comprehensive review to see if you're really on the best prescription drug plan. And that can be for a Medicare Advantage plan that you're on or a standalone prescription drug plan. A lot of times having a licensed guide that has years of experience uh, it's just the key to really having somebody educate you and also when you do have complications with your medications if you are taking high cost uh, drugs and you really are like unaware of really how to access uh, ways to be able to save money a lot of times you're not going to always remember everything I'm going to go over with you but you can reach out to that person that can educate or guide you like us and our agency can provide guidance. The other thing is working with an agency uh, that really has customer service as a sense uh, as an essential of what they do. So we like to say in our really our mantra as far as our agency that we like to serve others in all that we do. So that means if you call in with a question and you need guidance, service is really the forefront of everything that we do. If you don't have that, what happens obviously is you a lot of times Medicare beneficiaries are left to defend for themselves. They're trying to get online and search for things. There's a lot of great information out there, but there's a lot of misguided information out there. It's very easy to get on the phone with somebody that's maybe a, a, a novice to the Medicare space. Maybe they've been doing it for three or six months and you're, you're asking very in-depth questions about saving costs, reducing costs, and guiding you through a very complicated situation when it comes to prescription drug plans. I would encourage you to have a relationship with somebody that has some experience. It doesn't have to be us, but finding somebody that's a good fit for you. So let's go over some of the key things that you can do as far as resources. Uh, one is ask your doctor to review your medications based on your new formulary to see if you can transition onto generic medications as opposed to name brand medications. So if you've just enrolled into a Medicare uh, plan that has a drug benefit or a standalone prescription drug plan, so a Medicare Advantage plan with a drug benefit or a standalone prescription drug plan, you need to make the doctor aware that you've enrolled into a new plan and just ask them simply, can you evaluate and look at my medication list based on the formulary of the plan that I enrolled into and let me know, is there a way for me to reduce the cost by transitioning into maybe generic drugs or lower costing drugs. That is one of the easiest and simplest ways for your doctors to engage in the quality of care they're providing you and also to engage with your new health plan and the prescription drug formulary that's, that makes that plan uh, you know, an asset to you to lower cost. Another way is inquire about pharmaceutical programs with your doctor. A lot of pharmaceutical companies that have name brand drugs that have very high cost they will have pharmaceutical programs. The doctors will have documentation. They can allow the senior, somebody that's 65 and older, to fill out that documentation. They send it into the pharmaceutical company. The pharmaceutical company, based on your income sometimes, assets, sometimes they just have programs on extremely high-costing drugs that are several thousands of dollars per year, you can qualify being 65 and older for pharmaceutical programs. So you want to remember the terminology pharmaceutical programs or, or doc 
Um, is there any program available to the pharmaceutical company that this manu or this manufacturer or this medication that would help lower my cost? And do you have the documentation for that? Or can you get the documentation and help me fill that out? And the doctors typically or their staff can guide you through the documentation, or you can always call if you <laughs> just forget how to do that and you have a good agent or an agency like us, just call and say, hey, what are the steps to do this? The other thing is some programs are based on the income. So if your income is fixed and low income and you're, you're paying very high cost, you can sometimes qualify for what they call low income subsidy or extra help for medication, which is a federal program based on your income and your assets. One of the big things that I always, always like to tell people, it does not hurt to ask for help. Whether you ask your doctor, whether you go to the pharmacy and you ask the, the pharmacy, hey, is there any programs or any way to help me reduce costs? The worst case scenario and the worst thing that they can say is no, there's nothing at all that we can do or I'm unaware of that. And if that's the case, I would encourage you to reach out to an agency like us and just say, hey, this is my situation. I'm trying to figure out how to lower my cost. Are there any available programs or anything that, for resources or what can I ask my doctor specifically to be guided through the right resources to be able to reduce my cost? Guys, until next time, uh, if you have any questions, reach out to us. If not, like and subscribe. We'd love you to follow along with our channel. We'll be posting new content each week. Talk to you soon.